Hello everyone, how are you all doing this Sunday morning? I've been doing a whole lot of thinking lately, yeah? Thinking about the Chuba Okadibu International Airport, I could not help but wonder, why is there no news yet on what's next? I mean, what's happening? Like, what's really happening to the Airborne State International Airport? And to think we are approaching Christmas already, does that mean the Airborne that wish to you know, return home for Christmas, we'll have to go by road. No now. Eh, no now. Or they will have to go through Enugu Airport and then by road down to Ebony State. But that's stressful though. What is happening in this state, Bikuno? Weeks ago, the Ebony State Governor announced his plans to get commercial airplanes, about four of them, I think, yes. As a matter of fact, funds have been approved. We're still holding them. So far, there hasn't been any press release or anything, you know, to keep us posted on the latest. What is really happening in this state, please? Anyway, I decided to refresh our minds, especially to those who did not witness the construction of the Chuba Okadibo International Airport. I want to use this time to take you through, you know, when the Abakaike Airport was undergoing construction. You know, just a way of refreshing your minds. So are you ready? And while we're at it, I want to give a massive shout out to Mrs. Chidera Emmanuel, who blessed us with 2000 Naira token this morning. Thank you so much, Ma. Your kindness is greatly appreciated by all of us here at Eboin People TV. This lady in our words says, I appreciate how you promote Ndigo with your platform. Oh, I feel so appreciated, Ma. Thank you so much for your token. God bless you plenty. Okay, let's go there. My name is uh, Regina Ugufa de Michael. You are all welcome. This is uh, the Ebony State uh, International Airport. So, the uh, project has been going on for a year and uh, so, or uh, maybe let's say a year, year, three months now, or four months or thereabout. So, His Excellency has been doing great. You can see the, how much effort he has put into developing a uh, the airport for the betterment of uh, the Ebony people and then the whole of uh, the nation in uh, its entirety. So we are looking up for probably in less, less than a year time the project should be functioning. The superstructures have uh, all been put in place as you are seeing and then we have people too who are already you know putting things in place to, in place to make sure that uh, the roofing is on. But the superstructure has gone to roughly 90, 90 something percent of uh, its completion. Yes, this is the terminal building, the terminal building. And then at the back there, you see the tower. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
good afternoon, yeah. Um, my name is um, Engineer Ferdinand Abona from Abon State Road Maintenance Agency. Um, as you can see behind us here, we are constructing a rigid pavement just right around the Abon presidential launch of the Abon State International Airport. Um, this work really, we don't like delaying and in about a week time we should be through from here because from here we might be going close to the security office like we have the police station there we have immigration here and the beautiful thing here is that we don't compromise quality in line with its excellences and directives everything we do here is to standard very strong and reliable that's the way his excellency has been teaching us so that's exactly what we are here for and um, within a week, we have to move in. Thank you very much.